Kiki oh. in that second half. And then the fourth quarter particularly, you were just resoundingly driving to the rim. And Coach was talking about how you guys kind of just got stagnant at times in this game. How much of that was you just trying to, you know, being relentless and not wanting to let your team win, lose this game? Uh, well, I don't like to lose, so I try and do whatever I can so that we can win, whether it's driving and scoring or driving and kicking to the open person. But like Coach said, we did get stagnant a lot. I think we kind of get into like or create bad habits of just watching when someone's driving instead of actually moving and cutting when we're at our best. So that was pretty much our downfall tonight. Why did you feel that tonight it was better for you to just do more driving and scoring? Uh, I'll be honest, they can't guard, so that's, he, it's more uh, they can't guard any of us, so he just wants us to attack them. But he wanted us to do more screening and actually getting them to move because he didn't want us to rely on just our drives. Also, um, defending Cassie Green, she was uh, very difficult uh, to defend, but uh, what was like, because uh, Coach said that you weren't like, I guess Coach stood up on her on how to guard her, so what was like the scout here for her coming into this game? That she was a shooter and she wasn't allowed to get any threes, but we didn't follow the scouting report because what did she have? Twenty something? She was twenty four. Nineteen first. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that we aren't coach up, you know, just mental breakdowns is what is really our problem and we can't have those breakdowns towards the end of the season, especially if we want to be a championship team. They're they're a good offensive club, right, Taylor, because of their size inside and, and more and even frost and yeah, that's that's one way you can lose track of someone out there in New York. Yeah, I think all of them have offensive skills and they're all a threat. So it's between helping the post and then getting back out and doing closeouts <coughs> to work on every day. But all of them are threats. Yes. Yeah, the coach talked about how they can recover. You know, they lose you guys on on the three pointers or just open looks in general because mm -hmm. they're so quick and athletic, and they you know you have just enough room to maybe get that shot off, but at the same time they're there. You know, when you're ready to release it. So what's that like when they're just mm -hmm. there? You think you're open, but then maybe you might not be. It's you have to have the mentality that you're either going to shoot or you know you're going to drive it when you catch it. You can't hesitate. Um, yeah, that's what it feels like. You guys forced 26 turnovers tonight. Uh, <clears throat> do you think you guys can take enough opportunity off of the amount of turnovers that you guys forced? Uh, no, uh, I wouldn't say that. I think just getting the ball and stealing it is enough of an opportunity. Uh, I think our problem was our defense. We let them score too much. Uh, like we started out great, didn't they? Didn't well, they didn't score for like the longest, and then second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, they scored like 20 points. So that was really a problem. I mean, it all comes down to defense. Like our offense will always come. We just, we have to get stops though. Oh um, yeah, coach said that the defense. Uh, lack of defense after the first quarter was like a lack of focus. So I guess kind of what happened. Uh, can you give the details about that on defense? Um, yeah. Mental breakdowns, like Kiki said earlier. Uh, we started off really strong, and I think we relaxed when we came out strong. And we can't do that if we want to win tough games like this. You guys talk about the mental breakdown, but I mean, also there were times you guys had hands there. They were just making really tough shots. So what's that frustration? There? They're talented players, like we said. They're skilled, so they are going to make tough shots. And that's not what our scouting report was. It's like we knew they were going to hit tough shots. We had to take the easy ones away. Was it more? Did you guys was coach trying to get you to just run them off the three point line and jump more, or did you guys kind of when you're there, you're there? Um, we're supposed to play both. We're t I think we're all athletic enough to play both, take away the three and guard the drive. So we just didn't do it tonight. Kiki, this is unfamiliar territory for you. Uh, two weeks left, and you guys aren't in first place in the standings. How do you guys react to that? Uh, or you encourage it all by the way you played the games against Northern Ball State and House Central twice? Um, I think we just need to win the rest of our games. It just comes down to finishing out the season strong and then going into the MAC tournament strong. Uh, of course, we didn't meet. Of course, we're probably not going to be in first place, not going to win the regular season. Uh, but we still have a chance to win the MAC tournament, which is the ultimate goal. Do you, do you is there any part of those four games that you feel encouraged about? Because they were all close. They were all essentially one possession games. Mm, no. I really mean, I feel like our game shouldn't be that close. We shouldn't I think it's coming down to us just having way too many breakdowns. Like, we're going to come and film tomorrow and watch the breakdowns that we do every game. So I think that's just something we need to move forward, even as we move forward and we play these, play Kent, play Buffalo, Miami, BG, and all them. We still have to make sure we don't have as many breakdowns, regardless of how good the team is.
Yeah. How, how helpful is it for you when you're you know, maybe in a scoring mode where you get to the free throw line and regain your rhythm? Uh, it's been helpful because I've been missing a lot of free throws, so that was pretty encouraging tonight. Taylor, uh, you guys lose to Central Michigan now twice. Is this a team that you want to play in the match or you can show that you can be a team like this? Of course. We're never afraid to play someone we've lost to. They did it last year and it didn't turn out the way they wanted to, but we bounced back and beat Buffalo this year. I think that would be a sign of growth for this program um, to go into the tournament and beat someone that we've lost to twice in the regular season, and I definitely think we can do that.